Hello, I'm gonna show you how to glaze your mug with two different colors using the inside versus outside method. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is choose my two colors. I've decided to do gloss black on the inside and gray green slate on the outside. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glaze the inside using gloss black. So I'm going to mix it up using the drill. Make sure I'm getting all the glaze off the bottom of the bucket, pressing this trigger slightly so that I don't mix it too fast splattered all over the room. I already have a cup. Make sure you grab a measuring cup that's clean. You're going to scoop up a cupful of the color that's going to go on the inside of your mug and you're going to very carefully pour it on the inside, leaving about a half inch to an inch of space at the top. You're going to slowly twirl your mug around to cover the inside of the mug up to the rim. And then you're going to very low and carefully pour the excess glaze out back into the glaze bucket and let it drip. When that is dry, you can fix any drips you get on the outside. So as you can see, I got some black on the outside of my mug. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab a sponge and I'm going to wipe up the outside. So, just grab a small sponge, make sure it's clean, wipe off any excess glaze on the outside or on the rim that you wanna clean up, and then you can continue to glaze the outside. If you get this surface really wet, please make sure you're taking it over to a blow dryer or waiting until the following day to glaze it because glaze will not stick to a very wet surface. Okay, so just be careful with that. Since I'm demoing on a video, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, so my black is cleaned up. I'm gonna choose my second color, which is gonna be gray green slate. So while this is drying, I'm gonna mix my gray green slate. Get that nice whirlpool going. All right, put this back into the holder. And then when this is dry, you guys are gonna hold your mugs by tension. Remember, you're gonna push against the sides of the inside of your mug to keep it from slipping out of your fingers. And you're going to take your mug and straight down dunk it into the bucket, getting right up to the rim but not inside the mug. Pull the mug out and let it dry, letting it drip. And then I'm gonna let it dry on top of a glaze bucket lid or on the shelf over there. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I can find all of my glaze bucket lids, put them back on to keep us safe, and wait for this to dry. Once this is finished drying, I'm gonna go back to either choosing a third color as my rim or choosing the inside color as my rim. I'm just gonna choose the inside color, which is gloss black. So I'm gonna open that back up again. I did just mix it, but I'm gonna make sure I mix it one more time. I don't want it to be watery. And if the outside of my mug is dry, I can pick it up by the bottom which it's not, but for demo's sake, I'm just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip it over and just dunk to about here with gloss black. So I'm doing what's called a rim dip. I'm gonna let that dry by letting it drip and then setting it down as carefully as I can on the surface to dry. Once your mug is dry to touch, you can use a sponge again to pick it up and wipe the bottom of your three tripod feet. Okay, so you need to make sure that the bottom is completely wiped. And then you're gonna take it over to the glazeware cart and leave it there to be fired. Okay, thanks guys.